Gentlemen, have you ever been ghosted by a girl? You know, you meet a pretty girl with that cute face, hot body, hourglass figure, and then she doesn't message you back. She just vanishes on you. Or she says yes to a date, and then she flakes at the last minute. Or she makes excuses, or you don't hear from her again. Well, in this video, gentlemen, I'm gonna show you why girls flake on you. And once you know why they do it, I'll show you how to use that knowledge in an easy three-step solution that you can use to your own unfair advantage so that you never get flaked on by a girl ever again. And I hear this complaint quite a bit, both from my clients and down in the comments. Jesse, why are girls flaking on me? I struck up this conversation with this pretty girl in the bookstore. We got talking back and forth for five minutes. Jesse, it was incredible. I even got her contact details. There was a spark of attraction and then she didn't message me back. What's going on? Jesse, I was at a bar. I talked to three different girls, each girl for four or five minutes. I had her laughing. I was teasing her. I saw all that attraction in her eyes. I got her number, I messaged her the next day, and crickets. Jesse, I set up a date with this girl I had met. Date day comes around and she just ghosts me. Why am I getting flaked on? I just don't get it, Jesse. All right, I'm gonna explain to you exactly why you're being ghosted. And guys, look, you gotta understand this from the woman's point of view. You talking to a woman for five or six minutes, that's not enough time for her to get to know you where she's gonna just drop everything she's doing. She's gonna call you back. Back, she's gonna text you back, she's gonna message you, she's gonna set up a date, she's gonna take out two or three or four hours of her time just to meet up with you. Just over a five minute conversation, even if there was that little sparkle of attraction there, she doesn't know you. You're still essentially a stranger to her. This is a little bit hard for men to understand sometimes. In a woman's world, even if she's just mildly attractive and she's single, every dude in the world, every dude on the planet is trying to get into her pants, trying to game her, trying to get a little piece of her attention. There's dudes coming at her left, right, and center, trying to grab a little piece of her time. Even mildly attractive women feel as if they're in this endless sea of options, especially if she has this online presence. She's getting hit up all the time, men trying to slide into her DMs, giving her compliments, giving her attention. So yeah, you see that pretty girl over there at the bar, you go up to her, you strike up the conversation, you're this cool and friendly guy, you talk to her for five minutes, you even feel that little spark of attraction, you get her phone number, but gentlemen, that's not enough. There's not enough there for her to feel comfortable meeting up with you. But from your point of view, as a red-blooded man, you don't have a lot of options. You're more living in scarcity. If a pretty girl even smiles at you, let alone talks to you for five minutes and she gives you her number because you asked for it, that's like a big deal. That's a very big deal to you. And you're more like a light switch. If she's even mildly attractive and she's got a vagina between her legs, you are ready to go. You are ready to make this happen. You are ready to meet up and take some action here. Even if she's mildly friendly to you. You're automatically sold. Hey, there's a spark girl. I can feel it. Let's make it happen. Let's go, go, go. That's how you are thinking as a man. But it's a very different situation for the girl. Her readiness to meet up with you, it's not like a light switch like it is for you on and off. It's more like a volume knob from one to 10. So you strike up the conversation at first. You just meet her. It's zero out of 10. You're this cool and friendly guy. You spark a little of attraction. That attraction volume knob is now going from one to 10 to two out of 10, but then you leave. You only talk to her for five minutes. As soon as you leave, it's out of sight, out of mind. That attraction volume knob now goes back down to zero. So when you contact her the next day, she can barely even remember who you are. And let's be fair, she's only met you for a whole of five minutes. She's only received a five minute sample of your personality and your charisma. So she doesn't really know you. You were cool and friendly, but maybe underneath the surface, you're actually a serial killer, okay? Maybe underneath the surface, you're a drug addict. Maybe underneath the surface, you're deep in debt and financial trouble, or you're one of these guys that play video games all day. You haven't given her a big enough sample of her personality to truly judge you. She hasn't seen what your friends are like or how you act in front of other women. You're still like this big question mark mystery man to her. And men, that's right, you as well, can be just 
as bad when it comes to ghosting in the right situation when you're in a situation of abundance. For example, I myself have found myself ghosting women at times. When I have too many contacts, I don't know what to do with them, right? I meet a cute girl at a bar, we get to know each other, I get her number, I message her, she starts messaging me back. Suddenly, I got that little hit of validation. I got that little hit of approval. I'm like, okay, I got that girl. I can get this girl, but she's kind of average. I have better options available. I don't feel that motivated to actually go on a date with her. I'm building up this expectation with her. It's like, okay, my validation has been met. I just won't message her back because I have other options going on and I find myself ghosting the girl. It happens. And you think that you, dear viewer, wouldn't flake in the right situation? I wouldn't be so sure because I get a lot of grown men, grown ass men in their 40s, 50s, and 60s flake on me. Happened plenty of times before. I get on the phone with a guy, they're interested in working directly with me for coaching to improve their communication, improve their social skills, learn how to talk to girls, learn how to go on dates. They'll even pay me good money and then Suddenly, out of nowhere, I get ghosted. That's right, I get ghosted. This grown ass man, my client, they just disappear on me. They stop answering my messages. We're talking grown ass men and they're acting like 19 year old girls just flaking on me. And why did he flake on me? Even though I didn't seek him out, he came to me and even paid me good money. It's because yes, he wants to meet beautiful women. He wants to make a lifestyle change. He wants to have this incredible dating life, but deep down, he is scared. He's comfortable in a situation as it is now. He's making plenty of money. He's eating good food. He's getting a good night's sleep. Sleep. Deep down, he's scared of rocking the boat. Deep down, he's scared of making a change. So these men, they're motivated to come to me and then they flake on me and it happens all the time. Same exact situation with a beautiful woman. She meets a cool guy, which is you. You're cool and friendly. You have a five minute chat. She sparks up that attraction. Now you are all gung ho to meet her. But reality is after just a five minute conversation, she is still scared. She likes you, there's a little spark of attraction, but part of her brain is still scared to meet up with you. She's thinking, I don't know about this guy, I don't really know him, maybe he ends up being weird, what if he starts stalking me? What if he's got addiction problems or he's got money problems? So she simply flakes on you. Even if she wants to meet up with you, even if part of her is attracted to you, she's still scared. So it's just easier for her to flake out. Just like how grown ass men flake out on me all the time. Women do it. Men do it. Under the right circumstances, you do it too. All right, moving on guys, let's get to the solution. How do you solve this problem? Well, number one guys, if you talk to a woman during the day, you got a daytime interaction going, you strike up a conversation with a woman at a coffee shop or a bookstore, you need, in my experience, to spend at least about 10 minutes with her. That conversation needs to go on for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, that's the sweet spot so that she's not gonna be flaky on you. You guys going up to a girl, chatting that woman for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, a couple of minutes, and you think you got something going on, you don't really have much going on. In fact, you usually have nothing going on. 60 second conversation, two minute conversation, three minute conversation, that's simply not long enough for the girl to invest, to feel like she got to know you, where she got a big enough sample of your personality and charisma. A couple of minutes just isn't gonna cut it. In my experience, my really strong phone numbers typically come from a 10 minute to 15 minute conversation. Now, if you're in a bar or nightclub or nightlife situation and you're hopping from girl to girl to girl to girl in these short one minute, two minute, three minute conversations, being this social butterfly, the problem is any number you get, the girl's gonna be extremely flaky because she just didn't get enough chance to get to know you. So at some point, and this is a secret guys, in a bar, nightclub situation, you need to pick 
one girl. You need to make one girl the chosen one and stick to her like glue and start stretching out those interactions longer to 40 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, focusing on getting the girl to invest, getting the girl to chase you and building sexual tension with her. But that takes time. It can't be done in a three or four minute interaction. If you're hopping from girl to girl to girl quickly, you can never build sexual tension, get her to chase you or get her to invest, at least not enough to prevent her from being flaky. So the first step to reducing flaking and actually getting a girl to text you back, call you back, show up on that date. First step is don't settle for these really short interactions of a minute or two. You need to start pushing, pushing for longer interactions. So during the day, you're really aiming for 10 to 15 minutes. That's the sweet spot. Or even going on an instant date with the girl if she has the time. Night game, push for this 40 minute, 60 minute, 90 minute interaction. All right, gentlemen, step number two to eliminate flaking and ghosting. You want to start to develop your online presence and social media in a way that helps nurture your leads. After all, not every interaction during the day can go on for 10 or 15 minutes. Not every girl that you meet at night is it going to go on for an hour. A lot of times it's just going to be a minute or two, and that's a very flaky lead. But if she follows you on Instagram and you have a very solid profile and she can watch your little reels and videos over the next couple of weeks and over the next couple of months, she can begin to develop the sense that she knows you, even though she's just getting to know your virtual self. And that's the power of social media. She can spy on you. She can spy on what you're doing and your lifestyle. If you have a cool thing going on, you have good photos and good videos, then she can get to know you through the photos and the videos. And then when you hit her up a couple weeks later or a month later, that lead is warmed up and she's far less likely to flake on you. All right, gentlemen, the third way you can eliminate ghosting and flaking is you want to create the trifecta of emotions. And we're talking about building sexual tension in the interaction, getting the girl to chase you and getting her to invest. And it usually comes down to one of those three things. When I listen in on a recorded audio of a client or a student so I can critique that social interaction, even if he's a cool and friendly guy, even if the interaction goes on for 10 or 15 minutes and the woman has a large sample of his personality, if he ends up getting flaked on, it's typically because, dude, there was no sexual tension being built. Or, dude, there was not enough investment on the girl's part. Or, you can tell the girl was simply not chasing him. He was not giving her that opportunity to chase after him. And when those specific things are missing from the interaction, there's no sexual tension, she's not chasing you, she's not investing enough. When those things are missing, even if, you do get the girl laughing and smiling and you can see the interest in her eyes and you can feel the attraction there, very likely she's gonna flake on you anyway because just being a cool and friendly guy with a little bit of attraction just isn't enough to get a girl anymore. It's just not. You need to have sexual tension, you need to have her investing, and you need to have her chasing you. But once you learn how to get her to do those three things, then you will smoke the competition. Then you will not get flaked on anymore. And that's when you systematically start going and consistently going on dates, getting women in the bed, and having dozens and dozens of options of women to choose from. And look, if you need a little bit of help with your game and what to say to women, and how to give her the tingles, simply go right here to attractionzilla.com because I can help you so you don't get flaked on or ghosted again. So you're not dealing with the stupid drama, the stupid games that these girls are playing. You just might need like a little bit of guidance to put together a game plan on how to move forward so you can quickly 10X the number of women you're going on dates with. And look, I've been coaching men for over 20 years now both in person and over the phone. 
So I've seen it all from men who have money to men that don't. Men that have looks to men that don't. Men that have confidence to men that don't. It doesn't matter if you're not the most confident guy or not the best looking guy. These are things we can work on. Get you to the point where you can easily strike up a conversation with that beautiful woman. Get to know her, take her out on a date with consistency and with predictability. So if you're interested in working directly with me, simply go to attractionzilla.com or click on the link you see in the description below. All right, gentlemen, since you enjoyed this video so much, watch this one next. Say this when a younger woman asks you, how old are you? Guys, this is the ultimate answer for older gentlemen. And women will ask you this. Younger women will ask you, how old are you? If she finds you attractive, if there's that spark of interest, she will ask you this. So you need to have a good answer. Go watch it right now.